सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य मामेकम शरणम व्रज अहम त्वाम सर्व पापेभ्यो मोक्ष एष्यामी मा शुच हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द सिक्सटी सिक्स श्लोक ऑफ द एटींथ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवदगीता एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गोवर इट्स मीनिंग सो द श्लोक सेज सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य विच मीन्स अबैंडनिंग ऑल दी धर्माज मामेकम शरणम व्रज विच मीन्स ओनली गो टू माई रेफ्यूज अहम त्वाम सर्व पापेभ्यो विच मीन्स फ्रॉम ऑल योर सेंस आय मोक्षयिष्यामी मा शुच विच मीन्स विल लिबरेट यू डू नॉट ग्रीव सो आफ्टर हैविंग सेड सो मच फाइनली श्री कृष्ण टेल अर्जुन टू अबैंडन ऑल दी धर्मास एंड ओनली टेक रेफ्यूज इन मी एज आई एम द वन हु विल लिबरेट यू फ्रॉम ऑल योर सेंस and then he ends this shlok by a very confident declaration to not grieve at all so if understood completely this shlok is a very liberating statement from shri krishna that takes away all of our worries he is basically saying that just take refuge in me and all your worries will disappear so you will not have to worry about anything so this is such a simple statement and yet most of us find it very difficult to understand and we unnecessarily create so much worries and so much trouble for ourselves because we just fail to understand this so now that we are basically coming to the end of uh, bhagavad gita let's just go over the whole process of life step by step as it has uh, been looked at from the indian philosophical point of view so in the indian philosophical point of view the life basically is just a game between our lower self that is ego and our higher self which is shri krishna this game was started by our higher self voluntarily to make life interesting because our higher self is alone inside the higher self itself the higher self created a movement by its energy and every lower self came into being through that process so every lower self is basically a part of that movement higher self gave the lower self agency to act but uh, did not give the agency to the lower self to determine the outcome of an action so while living our life we get identified by our lower self and we experience the power of our higher self as being different from us so this entire world that we see is the power of the higher self which appears to be separate from us but in reality it is not it is our higher self while our lower self we get identified with the lower self fi- uh, falsely thinks that he can or it can develop the ability to control the outcome of uh, what is going on in the higher self and that is how the game actually begins where the lower self just tries to control the higher self and the higher self basically just plays with the lower self the higher self wants the lower self to come back to him while the lower self tries to assert its dominance on uh, the energy of the or the power of the higher self uh, lower self loses again and again and basically suffers in this process and eventually submits to the will of the higher self and that is when two of them unite and then the game concludes and the game starts again so this is the whole process so you can understand this basically from uh, the vision of uh, two lovers wherein one is trying to woo the other while the other one is showing tantrums so you can understand this basically by considering our ego to be a beautiful girl with many lovers trying to woo her most of the lovers are false who are also basically different versions of the true lover but there is one true lover over there the false lovers are basically the ones who will eventually betray her but the true lover will take her and uh, ri- uh, basically ma- merge her into into the true lover himself so these false lovers are money wealth power nation family etc while our true lover is our higher self that is shri krishna so shri krishna is telling us over here to abandon all these false lovers and take refuge in our true lover who is sitting deep inside us in our heart it is only he 
who can save us from all our suffering because it's from him that we came and it is to him that we have to eventually go so we all must drop all of these other lovers and just go to our true lover so if we can see our life through this point of view then it becomes quite clear to us that uh, we have absolutely no need to grieve about anything because the biggest wealth that we are all looking for in life is love and this love is what we are all seeking and a store of infinite love is already sitting inside our heart therefore we do not have to really gr grieve because what we are seeking is not outside us we don't have to go outside to get it it's already sitting inside us we grieve only because we are failing to see our true lover and we are falling for these false lovers who are outside us such as wealth power etc and we end up creating so much problem for us by ourselves so shri krishna is just saying to give up all of this and just abide him abide in him if we we'll do that we will be freed from all our sins so the search has to change instead of searching outside in this world we have to search within our, ourselves where the true lover is sitting with infinite amount of love inside him so that love that we are seeking from outside we really don't have to seek it that love is already present within us it is the self love and that is unconditional it's always there and we love ourselves right when we are identified with our ego we love ourselves it's just that we are being identified by the wrong thing this ego which is basically just a mirage so since this ego is false and we are loving a false thing that is why the problem is occurring if we love our true self our higher self shri krishna who is sitting inside us <coughs> who is the who is the sea ocean infinite ocean of love if we will love him then there is no problem at all he will remove all our problems so just relax don't really look for love outside look for love inside and everything will be fine so that is what shri krishna is saying that don't don't fall for other things just just give up all other dharmas and just you know come to me and i will liberate you from all your troubles and i'll move you up and i'll basically uh, take you and merge you into me and i'll provide you infinite bliss what you're searching for i'll provide you that so don't worry don't worry at all we all of us we have nothing to worry about everything is fine we just have to move inwards we just have to move within and all the problems will be solved so this is what shri krishna is saying over here i hope that i have explained this shlok well to you with that uh, i'll close this video i'll see you in the next video take care